Hello guys, today we are talking about a uh, recursive function in Golang. So a recursive function uh, is a function that uh, uh, calls itself uh, in, a, in a loop. So it can be used instead of loops and uh, we will try to implement uh, the Fibonacci sequence. Uh, if you don't know about Fibonacci sequence uh, you can google for that so Fibonacci sequence Fibonacci sequence uh, is a sequence of number in which uh, each number is uh, the sum of the previous uh, two numbers uh, starting from a seed which is uh, 1 and 1 or uh, 0 and 1 uh, so uh, you can see 2 is the sum of 1 and 1 or uh, and uh, 3 is the sum of 3, 2 and 1, 5 is the sum of 3 and 2, and so on. And uh, this uh, is a famous sequence because uh, it's, uh, its representation is uh, the, the golden spiral, which is used by a lot of uh, artists. And uh, so let's try to implement it with the recursive function in Go. Okay, so I'm in Go Playground at uh, play.golang.org and uh, we'll uh, make a function let's call it uh, Fibonacci and this function will take uh, two numbers starting from the seed so let's call it uh, let's call them m and n and there will be two integers and uh, okay, so we need a uh, a finish, otherwise it would go on uh, in uh, an infinite loop. So uh, let's say we will define uh, a constant. So const const uh, finish finish, and it will be 100. Let's say and uh, okay so we need to check uh, if uh, we are reach this uh, this uh, this uh, finish and uh, we will see if the n will, that will be our uh, our biggest of the two numbers uh, uh, will uh, reach uh, this so if n is greater or equal or equal of uh, finish, sorry. We will exit this function. Return. Okay. Uh, otherwise, we will uh, we will print the value of the second number. So, uh, f and t print line. And and then we will call Fibonacci again. So Fibonacci we will call. But now we will pass as the first uh, as the first number, which is the smallest. We will pass n. And then we will pass n plus n. So the Fibonacci will be called again uh, with uh, incremented uh, sequence. Uh, if uh, we start from 0 and 1 here we will print uh, 1 then m will become n which is 1 and n will become uh, m plus n so 0 plus 1 and it will be 1 again but the next time uh, m will be 1 again but now m will be 1 1 plus 1 2 so we will start the Fibonacci sequence. Uh, let's see. Let's see if that works. We will call Fibonacci and we will pass the seed, which is 0 and 1. We'll format that. Okay, so let's see if it works. Okay, so 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 2, 5. 5 plus 3, 8. So let's see. 13, 21, 34. Okay. So 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34. 
this is the Fibonacci sequence in a recursive function we can also make it with a more classic loop and to do that uh, we will make another function let's call it Fibonacci loop we will also take the seed numbers so two integers and uh, to do this we will need to uh, have another variable for the sum of the numbers and uh, we will start with the biggest numbers of the seed so t is equal to n and now we will check uh, t against the finish so we make a for loop for t less than finish let's do this code block and we will print fmt print line t and then we will assign to t the sum of the previous two numbers so n plus n but we also need to switch m and m so now m becomes n and uh, n becomes t because let's see if it works 0 and 1 t assign it to 1 so we print 1 now t is 1 plus 0 ag 1 again m becomes 1 and is 1 again so we go we go again t is 1 we print another 1 t is now 1 plus 1 becomes 2 m becomes 1 and n becomes 2 so t is 2 we print 2 so 1 1 2 2 and t becomes 2 plus 1 3 so t becomes 3 and becomes 1 sorry it becomes 2 and n becomes 3 so 2 and 3 and we go again so let's say if it works Fibonacci loop we'll call it in the main loop Fibonacci loop and we pass it the seed okay so format this okay right so the first one and the second one you can see we have another Fibonacci loop uh, with uh, for loop so this was a recursive function in Golang.